Next question. Let's go to Rain. I love your name, Rain. It's beautiful. All right. I purchased the Bikini Body ebook and I have also started taking supplements. That's wonderful. I am having a hard time sticking to meal prep. It seems so expensive and I know it's going to be a huge time commitment. Yes. Can you please give me some tips on how you meal prep to make it easy and what you store your meals in for the day? I haven't started the program yet, but I wanted some tips on how to get over being self-conscious when you are starting these workouts in a gym full of fit people. Okay, so let's answer the last part first. I do have an Ask Jesse. I'll have to look up and see which video it is. It's pretty recent, but it's about building up confidence in the gym. And one of my main tips is to find out when there's a slow time in your gym and go to the gym at that time. There's a lot of gyms out there that are 24 hours, so maybe your gym is one of those gyms. Go to a gym in the middle of the night. Go at one o'clock in the afternoon. A lot of gyms are really slow at that time. Go on a Sunday at 9 a.m. <laughs> Lots of gyms are really slow then. And walk around and seriously just mess with each one of the machines. Play with changing the weight, setting it up, and changing the adjustments, and, and sitting on it, and adjusting the seat, and doing a few reps on each one, and getting to know the weights. Bring a notepad with you, and write down, I used the chest press machine, and it was doable at 40 pounds, but almost impossible at 60 pounds. So that when you go start your workout using the chest press machine, you kind of know just exactly where to put the pin for your first set. And you've already been there, so you know in your notes that the seat is on the second hole and that the chest press device is on medium. You know, you know those things, so you can just kind of get in and get out. And keep going to the gym at those really slow times for a while. Shit, I have been lifting for years and I feel like I own the gym when I'm there and I still love going when it's dead. So I think that's an incredible habit to get into. The gym's yours, you don't have to freak out and wait for equipment, wait for the guy to be done doing bicep curls in the squat rack before you get in there for your leg day. <laughs> <laughs> Go at dead times. And you know what? There's always a really great trainer at the gym. A manager, an owner, a trainer, whatever kind of gym you have. Set an appointment. Just ask them. You know, it doesn't have to be a training appointment. Just ask them for an appointment where they show you all of the equipment. It's as simple as that. That's their job. So that will really help you. And having a plan. So you said you just bought the program. That's amazing. Welcome to Jesse's Girls. You get to walk into the gym with a sheet of paper that says exactly what exercise you're going to do exactly the sets that you're gonna do, exactly the reps that you're gonna do. So you can kind of take that worry out and just focus on getting yourself familiar with where in the gym the piece of equipment is and how the machine works. So if you can combat those two things by going to the gym at a dead period of the day or the week, or talking to a trainer at the gym to kind of show you around a little bit, I think you'll feel better when you're in there. And then of course, once you start the program and you just start lifting like the beast, you're just gonna be like, psh, psh, watch out everybody, I'm here. <laughs> okay, Rain, the rest of your question is about meal prep. So here's the deal. I don't have time to meal prep. I used to when I was uh, not a mom. I used to when I was not married. All of it was really easy back then. <laughs> so now I am a mom and a business owner and I'm super busy and I don't have a lot of time but I still prep my food. I just don't do as much work as I used to. So I used to make sweet potato discs and I would lay them all out and I would season them and I would oil them up and I would bake them and okay, I don't have time. I haven't done that in probably two years. I don't have time for it anymore. So now my tips are like how big of a batch can I cook? What's the quickest way to cook it? What's the quickest way to store it? And what's the easiest way for me to grab it and go? Okay, and those are all the questions that you asked. So my advice is to let's take sweet potatoes for example. I take sweet potatoes straight from the store, straight from the grocery store. I wash them and I cover them in foil as is. I don't skin them anymore, I don't do anything. I take them as is, I put foil around them. You can put a little bit of oil on them if you want before you put the foil on. I bake them in the oven at about 350 degrees for, it usually takes like an hour and 20 minutes. It takes a while, but put them in there, set a timer, and go do your thing. When I take them out, I just take, when they're done, I take the foil off and they're so baked and they're so juicy, the skin usually just kind of melts off. And I take all of that and I like take a fork 
and I just scrape it into a Tupperware container, all of them. If I did eight sweet potatoes, I scrape all the insides of the sweet potato inside a Tupperware container. Then I take a fork and I just keep kind of mashing it and mixing it all up. So I just have this big Tupperware container full of basically mashed sweet potatoes. And then it's in my fridge and when I'm ready to pack my meal for the next day, I either do it the morning of or I pack everything up the night before, I literally just scoop out my serving, put my Tupperware for the day on my food scale. If I know I'm having five ounces of sweet potato, I just take a big spoon and I throw five ounces into my Tupperware on top of the scale. Once it hit, hits five ounces, I throw the lid on, I put it in my cooler and I'm good to go. So. That's how I do it. My rice is all in the rice cooker, so I cook rice in bulk. A lot of times I'll just have Alex, I'll prep a bunch of chicken, you know, I'll wash it and I'll put some olive oil and some salt and pepper on it and I just hand Alex a giant platter of that prepped chicken and he goes outside and he barbecues a ton of chicken for me. So I kind of have that going for me, which is amazing. I have a, it's kind of a mini, it's not like a super mini, but it's like a medium sized George Foreman grill. I buy really big flank steaks from Costco. I literally take them out of the package, I throw the flank steak on the George Foreman grill, shut the top, and six minutes later the whole thing's done. And I take kitchen scissors and I take my flank steak after it's cooked and I cut it up into little bite-sized pieces and I throw all of those bite-sized pieces into a Tupperware container, put it in the fridge. So again, just like the sweet potato, in the morning I take that out, put my food scale on the kitchen counter, take my Tupperware container for the day and I put it on top of the food scale and measure out really quick all those bite-sized pieces of flank steak until it measures four ounces, five ounces, whatever I'm having. Throw the lid on it, put it in my cooler. So as you can see, I'm all about bulk and easy serving. So I don't take a whole flank steak, a whole five ounce flank steak and put it in my Tupperware because I'm super busy and a lot of times I forget a fork and a knife and I don't wanna be driving down the street, although I've done this. <laughs> with a giant flank stick just ripping pieces off. Hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, but I'd much rather drive down the street with little bite-sized pieces of steak. <laughs> Reek yogurt is a really easy one to cart around. Cottage cheese, if you're not doing a lot of dairy. There's so many other options. Cashews are super easy for your fats, almonds, anything like that. Peanut butter, sh scoop it out, measure it. Usually it's a tablespoon, you can just scoop it out and I'll eat it right off the tablespoon. So all those things make it really, really easy to just prep quickly, cook in bulk, measure some stuff out the night before or the morning of and just go. A lot of times if I'm really busy, I will literally just take the steak that I cooked and run out of the house and I'll go through a drive-thru or be at a restaurant and I'll, and I'll order a salad and I just throw my steak on the salad and stop at the grocery store and get a package of rice cakes. And there's your, there's your veggies, there's your steak, there's your protein, and there's your carb rice cake. And I've got cashews in my bag and there's my fats. Sure, it got all pieced together, but I made it work and I got my meal and I got my macros in and that's the most important thing. So if you wanna do it, you'll do it. And that's really how I feel about it. I don't have time for it. It is a nuisance. It is something that I have to try to do. It's not something that's just easy and I have people cooking for me and I have lots of time. It's hard, but I make it a priority and I want to eat that way, so I just do it. And there are ways, like all the things I just mentioned, to make it easy. So if you have the time, you can cook these beautiful, amazing seasoned meals and sweet potato discs, but uh, I don't have time for that. So. I just cook a whole bunch of shit, throw it in a Tupperware container and spoon it out when I need it. <laughs> so I hope that helps.